There are a couple of peculiar things I've noticed in Deadpool and Wolverine that I would love to talk about right now. Even after so many years, how the f*** on earth does Wolverine have some freaking hair on his head? When Deadpool went to Earth 616, he was literally intending to kiss on the lips of Happy before leaving the office. When Deadpool was fighting with the TVA guys in North Dakota, he literally stabbed into the ass of one guy and then into the penis of another guy at the same time. This dude gets shot in the penis again by Cowboy Wolverine. And then the same thing happens inside the void by Logan. The f is going on. The entry of this tiny Logan was really unexpected for me. And then, did you notice what's written in the back of the bar? Johnny tells Wade to stay close and then he does this. Look at the teeth of Pyro. It seems like he doesn't brush his teeth for the last few decades. He doesn't have a single toothpaste in the house. Inside the void, Deadpool gets to meet Nice Pool, but what the f is that? What is he hiding up there? A big fat corn dog sausage, I guess? When both fellas got into a fight, Logan was calling Deadpool to get back in the car again as if they're now going to begin some tantric sex. When everyone else was busy fighting, Cassandra Nova was enjoying a sip of tea inside the house. Fucking Brit. Look at Peter. What the f*** is he hiding up there? I guess there might be a lot of precious stuff inside this little inventory. It can obviously fit in two infinity stones and a hairy king cobra protecting them 24 by 7. Paradox was given a sandwich to eat but he ate the sandwich along with the wrapping paper like what the f***. Logan gets shot into his side chest but he throws out the bullets right from his mouth. Wouldn't that be more funny if Logan would pull out the bullets right from his ass after taking off his pants? Alright, let's talk about his pants. Is it not weird that the upper costume of this dude gets ripped off but not his pants? I guess this guy goes to the same tailor where Bruce Banner goes to make his pants. When Deadpool stole the tempad and he was about to fall into a portal, this TVA guy was looking at the ass of Deadpool as if he saw a female unicorn flying down to sit on his mouth. Deadpool smacked on the face of Paradox and caused nosebleed and then inside the car he again caused a nosebleed to Logan. We have waited for more than two decades to see a legendary fight between Wolverine and Sabretooth and this is what we get right now? Dude didn't even last in the fight more than two seconds. Cassandra pulls out a sling ring and tells Deadpool that she got the thing from an amateur sorcerer named Doctor Strange. Can you feel the audacity of this girl? She literally called Doctor Strange strange and amateur. This guy over here looks a lot like the body double of Chris Hemsworth whose face has been modified with VFX to make him look like Thor. This Wolverine kinda looks like a Canadian version of Michael Jackson who doesn't have enough money to cut his hair short. Johnny tries to defeat Pyro even after knowing that Pyro has the power to manipulate fire. What a freaking moron. This situation is kinda similar to a fight between Logan and Magneto who has the power to manipulate adamantium. Cassandra taps into the mind of Deadpool in the nastiest way I have ever seen in my whole life. Peter made a titanium piercing designed like a chain into his nipples and he was showcasing that to everyone. I don't know why but my intrusive mind was telling me to hold the chain and pull it real hard to see what happens. You couldn't even save a relationship with a goddamn stripper. 